Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of our Singles Hangout. Yes, and this is the Singles Hangout for February. Wow, 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 wow. The one for January was uh, by our speaker, Tolu Afonja. And she talked about um, how to overcome the fear of uh, failure in marriage. Yes. So if you've not watched that video, just look for it. How to overcome the fear of failure in marriage, yes. And we had a speaker in the person of Tolu Afonja. But in this edition, I'm going to speak. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's bond a bit. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the four P's of attracting your dream partner. The four P's <laughs> of attracting your dream partner. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely, lovely time. Okay. And so, you know, when we talk about that kind of topic and uh, we are like, so who is a dream partner? Who is a dream partner? So, and uh, I listed some things here. But then the first thing is, are you a dream partner? Because, you know, when we talk about choosing a partner, you are already thinking of the other person. But I want you to focus on you. Yeah, <laughs> let's touch from that. Focus on yourself and Ask yourself, are you a dream partner? Will a guy or a lady who meets you today be happy they met you? As in, will they see gold in you? Uh, are you up to the standard you are trying to put someone else to? You know, we are quick to judge other people, but I, I'm trying to say that focus on you first. Yes, become the kind of partner you want to attract. Yes, because you cannot give what you don't have. Yes, you cannot give what you don't have and you cannot get what you have not become. That's the honest truth. And so you have to become a dream partner first before you can attract a dream partner. Okay, having said that, so who is a dream partner? Can you hazard a guess? Okay, I, I got some something on my notes here and i said a dream partner is somebody who loves god loves god yeah loves god yeah then secondly he or she shares your values he or she shares your values that's the second thing and the third thing is that such a person compliments you compliments you you know there was this video i did i think his marriage is not a cure for loneliness or something yes you can search for it on this channel to the glory of god we got over 180 videos here and so just feast away as in watch and watch and watch stream and stream and stream because we are here for you and so in that particular video i'm talking about i mentioned the fact that our partners are not supposed to complete us. They are meant to complement and complement us. And so let me explain the two. The compliment, the first compliment is C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E and then the second one is C-O-M-P-L-I-M-E-N-T. -E so I think you understand the two. And so for me, a dream partner, the third thing is a person compliments compliments you not complete right great okay the person has emotional stability you don't want to uh attract someone who is a emotional yo-yo hot today cold tomorrow uh it's it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be some sort of hell uh -huh. so the fifth is the person uh has to be on a journey of purpose yes yes has to be on a journey of purpose so that is the five qualities that i think a dream partner should have so having said that what are the four p's of attracting your dream partner so the first one is positioning there's this video i did too i think it's a short where i talked about the two p's of branding and I mentioned uh, positioning and packaging. <laughs> so we are going to talk a bit about that too here. But not to worry. We are starting with positioning. And so when I talk about positioning, what am I talking about? How do you see yourself? Your self-image. How do you see yourself? Very, very important. Because if you do not know who you are, any definition goes. Seriously. If you personally do not know who you are, 
any definition is going to go. And so you got to know who you are. How do you see yourself? Positioning, under positioning. How, how have you discovered your purpose? That's the second thing. Are you on a journey of purpose? Because for you be, to be able to attract somebody who is also on a journey of purpose, you yourself must be on a journey of purpose. Yes. Because like attracts like. Okay. Then what about your values? Do you know your values? What do you value the most in life? Very, very important. You, what do you value the most in life? And so your values also matter. Then do you know your temperaments? We know we have four temperaments. There's the sanguine, the choleric, the melancholy, and the phlegmatic. And so you got to know where you stand. Very, very important. So knowing your temperament is part of positioning and also knowing your love language. What is your love language? Some people, it's just words of affirmation. Some people just like attention. Some just spend time with them. Some is just uh, buy them a gift. And so you must know your love language. And it's part of the first P that is positioning. Yeah, that's the first P, positioning. We are still in the singles hangouts for February, and we are talking about the four P's, four P's of attracting your dream partner. And I already mentioned the first P, that is positioning. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because we love you and we want the best for you. Yes. And our goal is to prevent marital failure by disseminating information that will help singles make wise choices. Yes, that is our goal. That is our goal. Okay, for the singles hangouts, yes. And by the way, we've got a community on WhatsApp. If you are not yet a member, you can drop your number on WhatsApp or I will drop the group link and just hit it and become a member of our community because like you already know we are big on community and transformation is at the heart of what we do yeah 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 okay so what is the second p the second p the second p is packaging 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 so the i'll talk about physical packaging first physical packaging is what you wear and the fact that you want to package yourself to attract a dream partner doesn't mean you should go naked yes you can be covered and look beautiful <laughs> you can be covered and look pretty seriously you can be covered and look attractive yes and so physical packaging very important you know because um the the bottle there is content in the bottle and the content is the positioning that i talked about now the content of the bottle has to be packaged just like your soft drinks, they are packaged in a bottle. And so we are talking about the bottle now, the packaging. Uh -huh. So very, very important. But you don't have to be naked to be attractive. Yes, that's physical packaging. Then secondly, uh, mental packaging. What do you have upstairs? You know, a guy must meet you and be able to connect intellectually because you are discussing discussing the weather you are discussing the global economy you are discussing ai you are discussing new things you are up to date you are there sound intellectually very very important and so mental packaging is important invest in yourself invest in yourself quit being on the same spot year in year out go out there we've got loads of videos here like i told you earlier we have over 180 videos here on several aspects of life we got experts coming in almost on a weekly basis to educate us and so watch videos educate your mind build your mind build your mind very very important there was this conversation i had with josephine obani yesterday and before she opened her mouth to say anything she said the first thing to uh, positioning and packaging yourself in today's economy is to master this mind build your mind very important because mindset transformation is life transformation mindset transformation is relationship mastery if you want to master your relationships as a single person master your mindset and so package yourself mentally invest the, I don't know, there is this quote, I don't know who made the quote, who said that we should uh, empty our pockets to fill our brain, which means use your money to buy stuff, courses, uh, listen to podcasts, watch videos. We've got loads of videos on this YouTube channel. You can just put it on a stream and just be streaming everywhere you go. Watch very very important put something in this brain so 
empty your pocket to fill your brain but you don't even have to empty your pocket to fill your brain if you're on the house of wisdom channel because all the videos are practically free and so watch away and build your mind very very important now you must pack it i'm still talking about the second p the first p was positioning and now we're talking about packaging and we've talked about physical packaging now we're talking about uh mental packaging very important invest in your mind invest in your brain okay now build your emotional capacity that is the third one the fact that you had emotional issues as a child does not mean you should go grow as an adult and still have those issues build your emotional capacity work on yourself very very important i did have emotional issues as a child but as i grew older and i still grow i keep working on myself i keep doing the inner work of healing because it's important to life and destiny that we are emotionally capable our emotions don't have to run right our emotions don't have to be all over this the place we cannot attract a dream partner that way and so you must package yourself by working on your emotions commit to the deep inner work of healing your emotions that is the third part of packaging now the fourth part is uh, financial capacity build your financial capacity look for something to do that brings in income look for something extra to do apart from your salary that brings in income because it's great to be financially stable before you bring someone else into your life either as a lady or as a guy both partners i i i think and i know it's what it should be that both partners must be financially stable yes to be able to work together very very good and then the next one under packaging is you must um, become spiritually uh spiritually sound know your god have a relationship with god yes very very important because any relationship is like a triangle yes there are three aspects there is god you and the partner and so know your god that i may know him and the power of his resurrection just as apostle paul said and so know your god very very important know your god be spiritually sound read the bible pray daily read the bible daily go to church volunteer for church volunteer for courses that you believe in like house of wisdom is a course if you believe in it volunteer use what you've got to lift the gospel right okay so become spiritually sound that is part of packaging and then last but not the least okay let me see become socially wise become socially wise you've got to be able to fit in socially very very important because relationships demand that you are able to uh move with people you are able to blend with the society so become socially wise and know how to move with people very very important so those are the first two p's now we move to the third p and that is preparation if you you were enjoying this video as i am talking just give us a thumbs up in the comments box because we love to hear from you we love to know where you're watching us from and so please type in the uh, chat box let's know where you are watching us from and so preparation is the third p of attracting your dream partner focus on becoming your dream partner focus on becoming your dream partner to be able to attract a dream partner yes they say like attracts like and so you gotta become so attract and so focus on becoming your dream partner and that means work on yourself the whole package the total package from your mentality to your uh, speech to the way you act the way you react all things must go in sync become that dream partner you are willing to attract very very important so preparation so prepare yourself mentally prepare yourself physically prepare yourself uh, start exercising <laughs> this 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 is a lesson for me to start exercising making new connections become the kind of partner you will want to date that's where i'm going become the right the kind of partner you will want to date and so if you want this in that partner 
do it in your own life. If you want to see that in your partner, do it in your own life. And so by the time you get out there, you will realize that you are, at, because like attracts like, we are magnets. It is what you have that will attract that person that you want. Okay, now without uh, further ado, let me go to the fourth one, fourth P, which is picking. Picking. You know, some people will say, eh, God will pick for me. I don't have to do the picking because you want to blame God if things go wrong, right? God is wise and God won't pick for you. God will just give you options that are around you and you are expected to do the picking. And so you got to be responsible. You got to take responsibility for that. And when it comes to picking, one thing I'll talk about is that you choose based on values unless on features you know the tall dark and handsome thing oh wow uh, <laughs> i understand i can't get that but i expect that you choose based on values very very important and for values i'm talking about is a person teachable is a person mentorable is a person loyal is a person committed these are values but when we talk about features we are talking about tall dark handsome blah 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 uh -uh. Choose more based on values because values are the things that matter to you. And if they matter to the other person, it makes the relationship seamless. Yes. So choose based on values and less on features. And then uh, also take note of red flags and uh, don't sweep them under the carpet. If there's any red flag you spot, so don't overlook it. Because it's 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 a role, it's a path to a lot of trauma, which is avoidable. And so, any traces of red flags, run, as in flee. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says, flee from all forms of evil. And it's not evil, well, and maybe it's evil, because if you don't pay attention to red flags, it's going to hurt you somewhere down the road. And so he slaps a wall in your presence. He's going to slap your face the next time. Take it or leave it. Uh, he, 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 he drags down a waitress in the restaurant and you're there laughing. You are going to be the next person. These are red flags and they are usually glaring. So don't sweep them under the carpet as in don't live in denial face reality if you notice any red flags flee and last but not the least under uh, picking build friendships first and i always tell singles this i tell them look don't put yourself under any sort of pressure that you want to choose you want to no first be friends because you know when you have friends you cannot form seriously you cannot form you will be yourself so build friendships first and i tell you marriages that are built based on friendships first they last because then both partners know one another in total and so be friends first and stop putting yourself under pressure because society is putting you under pressure because your family is putting you under pressure and so you 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 are just under pressure to choose no be friends first know yourself because when you're friends i tell you the person will just be as in will be vulnerable with you vulnerable with you uh-huh and so you get to see certain things you wouldn't have seen on a nose because when you say you're in a relationship the person who can't pretend you, you have you never heard of people who pretend till their wedding night <sighs> let's be guided please let's be wise okay and I just want to say this in passing that it's possible to attract your dream partner, but you got to work on yourself first. You're going to commit to working on yourself. And that is why I always say it. And I'm almost sounding like a broken record. That marriage wasn't designed to make us happy. Maybe I'm being too extreme with that. But I think and I know it's true from experience that marriage was designed to make us grow. Yeah, marriage was designed to make us grow. And that is why you got to work on yourself. You've got to commit to that inner work of healing, that inner work of growth, which no man can do for you. And so but by the time you grow, by the time you become the kind of person who can attract a dream partner, attracting a dream partner becomes like mince meat. 
and i hope this video helps you out if it did just give us a thumbs up in the comment section and let's have your questions if you have any and also subscribe to this channel like i always say hit the subscribe button it takes less than a minute to do that and we will warmly welcome you into the house of wisdom youtube community because we are big on community and transformation is at the heart of what we do and before i go let me quickly say that two things that can build your emotional connection in relationships is authenticity and vulnerability vulnerability means both of them were ashamed both of them were naked and they weren't ashamed that is what the bible told us about adam and eve which means they were vulnerable with one another and they were authentic no pretenses i come just as i am and so those two things will help you build an emotional connection and we've got loads of shorts one minute videos that can help you in life go ahead and watch it we go ahead and stream our videos and uh, become a person of value i hope this month's edition of the singles hangout community was valuable to you if it was do let us know in the comment box like this video share it with someone who needs it tell somebody about the house of wisdom uh, youtube channel because our house is h-a-u-s 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 of wisdom and we were we are established or we exist let me say that we exist to mentor young adults for life and destiny young adults matter to us I have a heart for the upcoming to be honest and we do this day in day out to the glory of God we are over here and this channel too has been in existence for a bit and so we want to welcome you as our newest community member go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's do life together because we know that god didn't create us to do life alone we were created to live in community and so thank you for being a part of this month's uh, singles hangouts for february march we're gonna have another singles hangout and we look forward to having you on that um, on that uh, event as well. Thank you for watching. Do have a fantastic uh, time. Bye bye.